Airmedia.com. All right, we're back with this Proline SP060601 uh, insulated above ground pool pump. And you've seen the other videos. We broke it all down. We have removed the wet end cover housing like this, the straining baskets. And now what we did is we went to take out a through bolt before, and you can see the through bolt has sheared off. Don't okay. The through bolt, the through it's bolt had. in the camera. Here, is it right there? Okay, so there you go. The camera manager's telling me there wasn't the camera. So there you go. You can see we sheared off the through bolt there, right? You got the through bolt there. You see we sheared off. So what we're going to be doing now is showing you how to use a little punch like this. I'm going to punch and mark a hole in the thing. Okay, so Brian might have to reposition it there. You got it there, buddy? All right, so what we're going to do now, you got it? All right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to center punch the center of this through bolt here, okay? All right, just like this. Ready? Watch this. There you go. You see that? Once you get that center punch on there, okay, that will give you a mark for your drill bit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my drill and I'm gonna drill out this, the top of the head of this off. And I'm gonna do that all to, to all four bolts. That way I can pull off the end bell, the rear end bell and slide the front of that out. But we'll show you that in a second. So let's just get back to drilling. So now a couple things to remember, you're going to need a cobalt uh, drill bit. You cannot use a regular steel drill bit uh, because this is hard to steal through bolts. And if you go to use a regular drill bit, uh, it will not work. You will just wind up sitting there. You cannot use a wood drill bit either. So you need to go to cobalt drill bit and you need to center punch it. That's very important also uh, because if you don't, the drill is going to ride. I'll show you the difference. Uh, one that's not center punched. You got that, Brian? Mm -hmm. So if I was to just do it here with one that's not center punched, you can see it just kind of rides around. See, yeah, it's not even the center, but the one that's center punched is going to be nice and smooth in the mark there, okay? So here we go. And that was not even hard to steal. So there you go. I, I was wrong, and I did it on video. That was not a hard to steer bolt, and this drill just tore the crap out of that. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's try that again. Now be careful at home, folks. You know, if you're uncomfortable using a drill, do not use a drill. And also, I know I love to talk, but like same thing when you're at home. Don't be like a monster. I see some people on videos like, you know what I mean? You don't have to be like that. Just do it a little time. So you can see now, we'll do it slow for you. I think this is why so many people like the videos. Like we do it slow, it's not like quick. I mean, there you go, we did half of it, right? Now we'll get back here. Okay, ready, Brian? Here we go. So you wanna be careful, you don't stab yourself or anything like that. There you go, so you can see that drill bit, that head is now coming off. Now, if you get it slippering like that, you might have to remark it with your center punch. I like to do that sometimes in the center here. There you go. So that gives me a nice point. It allows me my drill bit to ride somewhere so it's not slipping all over the place. Like that. All right, hold on. We're just going to flatten this out a little bit with the hammer. A little bit more. Sometimes you're gonna have to do this. It depends on the, uh, the type of through bolt you're working with. Now, uh, like I said in the other videos, at this point, you just may wanna stop. You might say to yourself, you know what? I'm not becoming a blacksmith in my patio table. You know what I mean? Like we're doing this on a workbench, you know what I mean? And we're a pump shop, you know what I mean? But if you have a glass picnic table, you know, you might not wanna do it, so. But you might wanna do it, I don't know. So there you go. Get that drill bit in there again. Whoa, be careful there. And this through ball is going to give us a hard time to the end. So we're just going to keep working on it just like this. And eventually, it's going to go all the way down. Um, it kind of sucks, especially when you get to the less expensive units. I'm not going to say cheap because it is a good pump. But when you start getting to the less expensive units, you know, like anything else, it's not, you know, going to be the top quality steel and it just falls apart instead of repairing it. So here we go. Okay, hold on. 
Now, at this point, I'm thinking the video may never end. But hey, you know what? To be honest with you, we've got a pretty good video card in here. And uh, I have actually seen that feature on YouTube. And I've never done this myself, so it's a first for me. There is a feature on YouTube that has upload videos longer than 15 minutes. Well, we'll de we are definitely getting there, right? So, I know, believe me, I'm doing the video right now. I'm like, oh my God, this thing's ever going to end. But I have to finish it through, so... We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep going. All right. It's like that show with Mountain Men or something. You know what I mean? The guy's like, I don't want to cool do gold anymore. The producer's like, Listen, you're under contract. Get back to work. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, right? All right. Well, here we go. So let's try another one. See what happens. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that one's just screwed up. Let's try another one over here now. I'm making myself look bad here, but whatever. These bolts suck. And then we'll try, ow, ooh, that was hot too, look at that. Do not put your hands on the hot metal. All right, so there you go. This is getting a little crazy over here. I'm gonna try to do one that doesn't have a mark on, see what happens. <laughs> the same thing. All right, so there you go. So what we're gonna have to do now is we're just gonna have to just keep pounding them out and just keep drilling it. It's gonna take a little bit of work there, as you can see, but as we showed you in the other videos, um, you know, the, the through bolts, they, uh, they're just stuck in there. So, like I said, if you've been watching along, this is how you remove the through bolts. It, it's extremely a painstaking process, you know what I mean? Little by little, by little by little. So there you go. I'm gonna now take my center bunch once again, and we're just gonna continue the process until we eventually remove all the through bolts. All right, thanks for watching. I'm sure you get the point by now. Or you're probably like, oh, I'm going to the pool store. All right. All parts available at wetheadpuppepair.com. Thanks for watching. Peace.